Hello and welcome to the SciFest Movie Talk episode. So in this episode, I will be discussing the 24th Pixar full-length feature, the 2021 computer animated movie, Luca, as directed by Enrico Casarosa. So, set along the Italian Riviera during the 1950s come 1960s, I think, we meet a small young sea monster by the name of Luca, as voiced by Jacob Tremblay, who, despite his family's concerns, looks outward to the wild, wilder, wider world above the ocean. Feared above the sea by the fisherfolk of the area, sea monsters are indeed the gentle, kind of playful shepherds of the sea, but themselves fearful of the human monsters that live on the land. The humans are always on the lookout for sea monsters, following local folklore and superstition, always ready with their harpoon. The sea monsters keep their distance from the humans, always in the shadows and never venturing onto the land. That is, until Luca meets Alberto, as voiced by Jack Dylan Grazer, another young sea monster who actually lives alone above on the land in an abandoned windmill. At least I think it's a windmill. Uh, much to Luca's surprise, on land they take human form and um, together they kind of form a friendship like no other, dreaming of a life travelling around the world, total freedom and taking in all it has to offer. On a Vespa, I might add. Luca's family are livid when they find out he has been to the surface. Well, his mum is at least. Um, and in an attempt to keep him safe, they look to send him off to live with his uncle, Ugo, as voiced by Sasha Baron Cohen, down to the dark, murky depths of that deep ocean. In retaliation, Luca runs away with Alberto to the neighbouring Italian fishing town of Porto Rosso, where they meet the determined and headstrong Julia, as voiced by Emma Behrman, who's looking to beat down the local bully in the Porto Rosso Cup, a trial of challenges involving swimming, cycling and eating lots and lots of pasta. Along the way, our trio have one adventure-filled summer together, with all the highs and the lows of such close and endearing friendships, proving along the way that regardless of whether or not we are sea monsters or human, we are all in this together. So, from the moment this movie hits the screen, you can just sense you are in for one Fantastica Aventura Estiva. That is, in my jangly Italian, one fantastic summer adventure. And if I've got that wrong, thanks Google Translate, I apologise. I am just stupido. Um, Luca is absolutely beautiful and stunning. It's a beautiful, stunning film all round, it really is. Um, bringing us kind of a little mermaid-esque story mixed with Italian folklore and with a kind of that old school kind of charm abound, you know? The animation and direction, it really clearly takes direction from many of the classic Italian film directors with kind of a laid back and chilled vibe, just perfect for the summer, you know? The mixture of myth and legend, fact and fiction is expertly woven into a sincere and engaging story with a number of charming and delightful characters that bring this story and vision to life. It is a beautifully playful film with a magically inspirational soundtrack to match. With a score brought by Dan Roma, it brings in traditional themes with plenty of soulful and lively Italian music, with bags of energy, emotion and crescendo, which is just simply delightful. It is not a grand movie. It is very humble in its motivation, its style and its execution. But therein lies its magic and its power. It is thoroughly enjoyable and in its sheer simplicity, you know. It has time to concentrate on its key characters, their, their bond and their friendship. And in this, it all becomes the most meaningful thing that it could have been. And indeed, a very special and heartfelt experience. The whole thing was bright and breezy with a real laid back, chilled summertime vibe filled with the essence of the Italian Riviera. It is very, oh, it was very nostalgic indeed. I mean, I've never actually been to Italy, you know? Right, first, you know, this made me pine to go, not gonna say that. 
But not only that, it, it's key themes about friendship and balmy summer nights brought back all of those memories of all of those summertime adventures that I had as a kid myself. It was such a warm and comforting kind of film in that respect, like having a kind of a big glass of milk and cookies. You know, um, when the local park, you know, is indeed your entire world, when you dreamt of what there was in the wider world and then imagined a way to get there in your own backyard. This film more than recaptures that magic. That's what I'm talking about. The film uses a number of metaphors and visual styles in order to bring forth its message in a very subtle and understated way about friendship, family and acceptance, no matter who we are, sea monster or otherwise. For anybody who feels different and have felt the need to hide their true identity or their true self. One of the phrases used by Alberto to introduce Luca to the art of walking was indeed so very true. Um, walking is catching yourself before you fall um, and so agreed. Uh, and that's how I feel with every step in walking and in life in general. And, you know, you see what I mean about the depth of this movie. And once you kind of start scratching the surface, so to speak. Indeed, I love the language used throughout this film and um, being kind of a mix of English and Italian, kind of Italian English, if you like, which really just kind of added to the emphasis and the passion of these characters. It's quite interesting slant if you think about it. And, and I think it really worked well, given the overall context and the feel of the film and indeed was integrated smoothly um, and transitioned like it was simply the same language used throughout. Overall, this was the kind of film that doesn't do very much. Um, when you look back, it gave you so much. A warm and heartfelt reminiscence to your childhood. To those crazy summers of friendship made, lost and rekindled over the years. Pixar have certainly done it again with some simply exquisite animation with a real original quality and an inspired yet understated story. Bringing us some wondrous and very relatable characters. It is a very loving and charming movie that is full of heart. Its scope might be small, our characters may never venture very far, but they prove anything is possible in that short time, with a big heart and almost infinite imagination. If I can get this right, un fantastico film per um that more than once brought a tear to my eye. So, that brings me to the end of this episode. Many thanks for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like. Please do hit that subscribe button for more movie reviews, trailer reactions, and other movie-related content. Absolutely loved having, having you here at SciFest Movie Talk. Definitely love to have you back. But most of all, just thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.